For those that know, and maybe you don't too, but I'm just going to reveal it to you. I spent many a year in Denver uh, on radio, broadcast radio in Denver, first at KQKS. Then the final five years on broadcast radio was with a company called Max Media. Max Media owns Jam and 1015, the station I worked at. And then 1071 has been a, a, a train wreck of a frequency. They flipped that, that thing like every year and a half. When I say flip, that means change the format of the, of the station. So it's been all kinds of different formats. Now it's classic hip hop. It's Flow 1071. I worked at Jammin for five years. I had a great time at Jammin until I didn't. Until they decided to bring in some dude from outside that thought he was going to change the world and didn't. And decided that part of changing the world was letting me go. Now, all in all, I feel fortunate to have worked there. And I feel grateful to be right here, right now, where I am. So there's that. And then there's a couple of other people in that building that I did, are unsavory to me because I know they did some stuff behind the scenes involving my departure. So the news that was shared with me is about those stations. I'm going to read it to you directly from the Colorado Broadcasters Association website that got it from Radio Insight. Here it is. Pillar of Fire has agreed to acquire Max Media's Rhythmic AC Jammin' 1015 and Classic Hip Hop Flow 1071 for a cost of $7.775 million. The two stations will join Pillar of Fire's Christian Preaching 910 KPOF Denver as well as two other stations, one in Cincinnati, one in New Jersey. Pillar of Fire Broadcasting has filed with the FCC to purchase Jammin' 1015 and Flow 1071. Again, quoting from Radio Insight, Art Garza, director of broadcasting for Pillar Media, said, quote, we are grateful to the Lord for this incredible opportunity. <laughs> it's been a prayer of the Pillar of Fire board for many years to expand its ministry in Denver. Consequently, we are thrilled and blessed for the opportunity to expand our ministry through these two FM stations. They are killing off jamming and flow. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me put on my petty hat. Um, Matt Stockman, again, quoting from Radio Insight. Matt Stockman, Pillar Media Brand Director, said, quote, We are thrilled to serve the Denver community with three local stations now, all offering uplifting music and positive stories to different audiences, but with a singular mission of encouraging the Mile High City to grow a relationship with Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> oh, oh. Would I tell you how much I laughed when I heard this? Donna says, that's a whole lot of Jesus FM. <laughs> Bless mom says that amen came deep from the gut. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to be clear. Although I, 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 I think you, you I, I know, you know, my heart. I know, you know, my heart. I don't, I don't revel in anybody getting fired like this. I don't revel in it necessarily <laughs> except for this case now the purchase is pending it's pending the FCC has to ap approve of the purchase I don't see any reason why they wouldn't because pillar of fire broadcasting is a stalwart in Denver pillar of fire broadcasting get this 
Are you ready for this? Pillar of Fire, according again to Radio Insight, has operated a nonprofit radio ministry in Denver since 1928. They've been on Denver radio when radio, since radio was new. Shut the front door. They have been on Denver radio since Denver radio was brand new. 1928 on AM. That's how long they've been around. So now they have two stations. One again in Middlesex, in the Middlesex, Somerset, Union, New Jersey market, and one in Cincinnati. And now two more FM stations in Denver. My old stations jamming and and flow and flip them both Christian. So yes, the deal is pending for seven point seven seven five million. I always wondered how much those stations would be going for. Because in my petty mind, I thought to myself, you know, if I ever win the Powerball or Mega Millions. I'm going to buy both of them and clean house and run the damn thing like I want to. It looks like Jesus beat me to it. 